like. And I want it to be in a circle, or if, or, or if the text is longer, it'll give it kind of a, a um, slot type of shape. And then instead of the item, you'll notice that we have two options in here, an item and a quantity. This is if you're using a balloon that has a, a split where you can have item up top and something else below. We're going to remove both of those. And I'm just going to put mass in here. So now we have our regular shape. It's going to display the mass. And you'll notice all the things that you can show in here. Now if you're using something custom, you actually can have custom parameters. And you'll notice that you have you know they, they've broken these out but you can use custom with uh, whatever the name is click new property type in that custom and you should be able to get that to show up as well but in this case we're just going to use mass I'm going to hit OK or done now when I come over and select this let's go back to our annotation you'll notice that we have the new mass in here so now that's going to show the mass and the mass is getting its information from the 3D part as far as the the settings so if I wanted to change that to, to pounds or whatever else, you could actually change that. So this is just a, a couple of things here to get an idea of once you place your drawing, there are a number of things you can do. Um, and then one last thing that I, I get quite a few questions on this. Um, what if I want to sketch something on my drawing view and make sure that it stays? So you know what, what happens oftentimes is you know you come in here, there's a create sketch command, you create a sketch, let's say that you want to add maybe some text in here so you place some text let's bump that up a bit bigger and it looks great you kind of position it where you want but then what happens let's make sure I grab the right uh, arrow let's just grab that and move it over so now I decide that I want to move this this drawing view over somewhere I need to finish the text first so there we have it we can drag it around and, and kind of put it where we want but now when I move the view you'll notice that that text doesn't move with it it's not associative this is a the default behavior of inventor and um, although if you want to if you want to be able to have a drawing view attached to a particular view or a sketch attached to a view if you pick the view first and then create the sketch so it's a, a subtlety there but if you pick the view and then create a sketch now you've associated it to that particular view so now we'll do something similar we'll put in some text specify a size you know I can move this around just as we did before if I return up I can still come in and move that around but now if I move the drawing view you'll notice that that text is associative to the view now you can't take a sketch that's not associative to a view and link it to a view that would be nice but in this case if if uh, if you want text and it doesn't have to be text this can be geometry as well if you want to do that you've got to select the view first and then come in and put different geometry so you know just to show a couple of other things we may want to do in here um, you know you could place geometry you could do a, a fill on one of these do something like a, a solid fill didn't get the, the right color but anyway so with that now if I grab that view drag it around you'll notice that the text and all the geometry works now one final thing with this is you may also want to parametrically put some of this geometry in a certain location so you may have um, a, a, a hole or a sticker or something that you want to show in the drawing but not actually reflect it in the 3D model so one of the things you can do is project an edge so you'll notice that I go into project I can project an edge. Now I can come in and dimension this. So we just say let's dimension to the center. And we'll say it's two inches over. We may want to say that this is 0.5 diameter. And you know, if we wanted to dimension its height or where it's located in position, you know, vertically, we could do that as well. So once we've got that in place, I hit OK. Now we see the hole is positioned exactly where we want. Um, I, I can't pick and drag it around it's it's locked down we've removed that degrees of freedom now we can see that as I drag the view around everything updates so hopefully those handful of things are helpful we have the uh, the auto center lines move dimensions from one view to another if you've if you've uh, recovered those from the 3d model you can edit those dimensions and you can also create text that links to parametric data so you know this this dimension below 2.4 it was the width and the height 
you know, kind of the envelope of this part, and it's associative using those parameters. Um, you can also add uh, balloons, you know, put put different things like mass in the balloons and be able to show those, and also in liters. And then finally being able to create a sketch and overlay it on top of a, a view and actually have it associative to that view. So those are a handful of really quick drawing tips. Hopefully that's helpful. And uh, with that, we'll have another podcast next month. Hopefully many of you guys are on the, the beta site or uh, the, uh, the, the new Inventor 2011 beta so that you can get a, an idea of some of the new functionality with that. If not, I'll put a link so that you can actually go out and check that out. And with that, hopefully you guys are enjoying, and we'll catch you next month.